it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby and I'm back with more goodies. So I am loving these little shaker things from Dress My Crafts. So I grabbed a few more of these fun little shaker beds and I'll share those with you. I also grabbed some stamps and I restocked the Mochi Girls from Stamping Bella. So let's dig in. So I grabbed these really pretty um, glass looking hearts by Dress My Craft and they do come in two sizes here. So the smaller one and then there's a larger one. And these are really pretty just to glue onto your cards, sprinkle them around. You can create a shaker mix with them, mix them with your sequence. So the bigger one's the Heart Droplet 3 and the smaller one is the Heart Droplet 2. And pretty much one side is is flat, so you can they're perfect to put on your card. So these are restocked. Love these ones. So look how large that is. Really easy to color. Um, Alicia Crazy Paper Chick, she did a card with this one. So if you want to check out her video and get some inspiration for the stamp, um, I'll have it linked up here in the cards. Journaling Girl, love this one too. Now, um, I actually have two extra journaling girls with the with this party girl um, sleeve. So it's this is her on the outside, but it's journaling girl on the inside. I will sell that one for um, a discount for fifty percent off if anybody wants that. Um, I will have it listed and marked clearly on there that um, the packaging is a defect. And if you don't mind, you can grab that. It'll have this journaling girl inside the packaging. So I have two like that. And then, of course, this one's fine. So it'll be a separate listing. And I have this donut girl. Really, really cute. And speaking of um, defect, <laughs> these two came to me crushed in, and it looks like it did not happen in shipping because the way it was packaged, I know it didn't happen in shipping. It looks like it happened from the manufacturer. These are from overseas, so it must have happened when it got to my supplier. Um, so this one's crushed in, and this one is crushed in on the side. So I will put these listed as 50% off damaged. Um, this, the stuff inside is fine. It's just the, the packaging. And then I have one that is perfectly fine. And it's a really, really pretty mix. It's got little strawberries mixed in there. And the big ones come sealed on the top so I can't show you. Okay, let me share the stamps before I get into all of these because I don't have too many stamps. This one is new from Hero Arts. I just love that unicorn cake. So this is really, really cute. A couple of sentiments in there, best wishes and happy birthday. And you can create a unicorn cake. And then there is a coordinating die. So I only have limited quantities on these. I think I have two of the stamps and then one with the die. I grabbed this one because this is perfect for those peekaboo critters. So this is the peekaboo car. I thought it was so cute. And I have one with the die. And then there's one without the die. So cute. And then the peekaboo balloon. You put your little peekaboo critters in there. So cute. And then I have some more stamps. These are from Waffle Flower. This is brand new. This is the Tulips. I thought it was super pretty. 
beautiful um, scripty sentiments there. And we've, let's see, we've got you are like a mom to me, you could put, to my favorite aunt, grandmother, you are loved, happy Mother's Day. And I thought it was just really pretty. So this one comes with the die. Um, there is a discount when you buy the stamp and die bundle from Waffle Flower. So it is um, less expensive to buy the combo pack rather than the die and the stamp separately. And then I did grab just the stamp if you didn't want the die. And then this one here, he's really cute. I only was able to grab the stamp and die combo. It was out of stock. There was one left of this. So you get the die, there's a magnetic sheet on there, it's pretty heavy, and then the stamp. We've got Easter blessings, oh happy day, just for you, some bunny loves you, rejoice and be glad. And I have the, I know a lot of you are waiting for me to get back in, this one. So this is the Prima Surfboard Bundle. So I do have all the parts for that. Let me grab. So we've got the ephemera pack, the Prima flowers, really pretty. Look at that gold center. The Sayed and Crystals, they all match perfectly together. The chipboard stickers and the paper. So pretty. Um, I have this all as a bundle with a discounted price. Beautiful, beautiful collection. So I have a few bundles of those. And I did restock the Pink Smoke. I know some of you asked to restock this one. It's so pretty. Love that one. Love those colors. And then this one as well, the dots and stripes. It looks very um, smoky, distressed. And you got your dots and stripes, perfect staple. And then I have a one of this. This is really pretty. This is Colorado Craft Company. And it's this large, almost like a perfume bottle with a bouquet of flowers in there. We've got numbers in here. And then number happy anniversary bravo so you could put the number in there and this one too happy birthday to you with the number get well soon thank you ever so kindly be you thinking of you today sending you happy little thoughts what's cute is these little um sentiments can fit right there in the center of that perfume bottle happiest of birthdays to you a girl should be two things classy and fabulous Coco Chanel. You, my dear, are both. A woman, a woman's perfume with the scent of a woman, uh, Gabrielle Chanel. So really, really pretty stamp set. And then the shaker bits. So I grabbed some of the larger shaker mixes because I thought these were really, really pretty. Um, there's lots of variety in there. This one is called Angel Mix. That pretty. We've got Blossoms with green sequins. Hug Me sequins. I love this color combo with the pink and the blues. It'd be perfect for um, baby cards or Easter. We've got Pink Story Sequence. That's pretty. It's more like a peachy pink. And then we've got the Flower Pearls in Blue. Look at these little pearls. So there's a mixture of sizes in there. I see really tiny ones and then tiny ones. <laughs> But these are nice to mix with your sequence. 
they kind of shake around really good in your shakers. This is the pearl in um, pink. And I could see all the little ones are sticking to the to the jar there, but there's bigger ones in there. I can see the bigger ones moving around. And then these little guys. I just love these little guys. So I restocked the cute little cloud ones. They're adorable. And you get so many in here because they are thin. So they're just packed in there. Look at that little clouds. Aren't they cute? Little smiley faces. Kiwis, guys. Look at these kiwis. Aren't those cute? Little kiwi slices. So adorable. And then onion slices. <laughs> I had to get this. It's so cute. Onion slices, come on. <laughs> Look at that adorableness. The watermelon slices, I restocked this one. I love this one. Little watermelons. So cute. The Mickey ears, or the Mickey faces, I restocked this one. Look how cute that one is. They look like candy, so make sure you keep these away from children. We've got the sweet candies. So this one you get a variety here. This is that one that looks like pizza. Cute. So cute. We've got uh, the dessert mix and these ones are really tiny and cute. Look at all that. Cute yumminess. Isn't that cute? The fruit mix. Oh, look at those fruits. They're so cute. Look at the little grapefruit, the oranges, the lemons, there's kiwi, there's little grapes, strawberries, watermelon, pear. So adorable. And the rainbow. Oh, I had to get this one. The cute little rainbows. Oh my goodness. And you get a ton in here because they're so thin. So these are great to just mix with your sequence. Make a nice sequence mix. Look at those cute little rainbows. They got rainbows with little clouds at the end of them. That's sweet. Adorable. So I will have the link down below. These sprinkles are under the category other scrappy goodness. Okay, so we've got these under Stampin' Bella. Um, Colorado Craft Company. I think it's under stamps and then under other. Okay, but if you click on stamps and then scroll down, and then keep scroll scrolling down, you'll see just everything that's listed that's new. We've got the new Not Too Shabby release coming out with the Inspiration Hop on March 1st. Hopefully it's March 1st. 
um, you're not going to want to miss the Inspiration Hop. The new release is awesome. You guys are going to love it. Um, I can't wait to share the projects with you and the stamps. March 1st. Let's see what else. I have to pull some giveaway winners. So for all the orders that came in for January, I need to pull a winner. And March 1st, if I'm going to have to pull a winner for <laughs> February's orders as well. So every month I do a little giveaway for all my customers. So I need to do that. I have the YouTube card challenge going on. So I'm Right now I'm doing the monthly YouTube card challenge on my channel and this month is the lunch bag card. So if you plan on doing the challenge, get your video up and hashtag me with the, <clears throat> with the monthly challenge hashtag. Um, I'll put that video with all the instructions so you can check that out, list it down below. Um, Join us in that challenge so I could keep doing the monthly challenges. Um, right now we have one person that's uploaded a video. So her chances are really, really high to win the prize. <laughs> I'm going to be giving a $10 gift certificate every month for those challenges. I also have the monthly card challenges on my Scrap and Stampers Facebook group if you want to join us over there. Lots of fun stuff coming up, guys. I'm super excited. So thanks guys for stopping by. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your comments. Um, leave them down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys!